The objective of this presentation is about how to customize your mobile dashboard and how to create a dashboard template and share it. Let's start with the first feature, how to customize a dashboard. To customize the dashboard, you have to click on the button Edit Dashboard on the Windows 10 or mobile homepage. The three main options are Edit, Delete, Add Tiles. As you can see, the tile aspects can change, so you can now delete it with the bin icon or change its aspect with the pencil icon. Also, a box called Add Tiles has been added in this Edit Dashboard mode. To use the same mode with iOS, you will find the function Config Page in the left panel. Then, the Edit Dashboard mode will be activated, and you will find the two additional icons on each of the tiles and also the specific Add Tiles tile. First, you can customize your dashboard by moving the tiles. Each of the tiles were added with the Add Tiles function. You can see that they were added at the bottom of the screen. You can reorganize the tile locations on the screen. To do this, press the tile you want to move. A square appears around the current tile, then you can move it. A blue line will help you fix the tile to its new location. At the end, validate the new dashboard with the check icon. Now we will explore how you can change the tile's qualities by clicking on the pencil icon. Select for example the advanced order tiles. Select the pencil to change the look of this tile. Note that the tile title can't be changed. However, you can change the color, the size, and add an icon. In this example, we have selected the blue color and the star icon. When you're done, be sure to validate the current record with the check icon. Finally, in the Edit Dashboard mode, you can add tiles. Click on the Add Tiles button, and then select the apps to add, depending on your role authorization. Don't forget to customize the new tiles for color or specific icon. Then validate your choice on the selected panel. You also have to validate the dashboard in edit mode to return to the standard mode. The groups feature will help users to create tile groups and display their priorities. As long as you are in edit mode in the dashboard, you can manage groups. In a group, you can combine several tiles under one title, this can be more user-friendly for you. For example, you may create groups for financials and distribution. In Edit Dashboard mode, click on the icon Add Group, then change the title. Notice a bin icon is displayed near the title. You can now add new tiles with the Add Tiles button and select your app. You can also use the Group button from the tiles to select which group you want to move it to. This operation can be done in reverse as well. If you want to delete a group, you have to delete all the tiles first. Be sure to validate the template to return to the user mode. In the demonstration, you will learn how to manage a dashboard template, how to create it, and its security aspect. To manage templates, you have to click on the My Template button near the Settings Access. Create a new template, fill in the title of the template, then the name of the group. Add the tiles you would like to display and confirm your options. The second part of this customization is about its security. User access to a template depends on role definitions. Click on the Group of People icon to manage the roles, then confirm it. The number of roles is displayed inside the circle. You can click on it and change the role definition of this template. If no role is selected, then all users can access this template. Confirm the current record before you exit. Once you have created a template or have the same template role, you can go ahead and use it. The first option, you want to use it in your current session. In this case, click on My Template to access the list of existing templates. Then select the template you want to use. If you click on My Template, you can change the display template. Finally, you can return to the standard dashboard by clicking on the left arrow icon. 
You now have a second option where you can choose a template as the default one. Choose the edit mode of the dashboard, then select template and make your selection. Confirm your choice and you'll see dashboard save displayed. Return to the standard mode of the dashboard. The display is now the same as the template you have chosen, and it will stay like that until your next change. Don't forget, you can only choose a template depending on the security access assigned to your role. As soon as a template is chosen, a user can only change the template, but cannot retrieve the standard dashboard. After selecting Administration Authoring Users, you can access the list of existing customized dashboards. On the beginning of the line, use the Action button to delete a dashboard. And now, you can see the applications have been added. You have learned how to customize your mobile dashboard, create a group, and how to create a template dashboard. You have seen that using a template is dependent on your role.